Hello everybody, uh, Rich Gamer here and welcome back to another episode of Towns, where I try to fix this little problem that I did in the last episode. I'm gonna let them finish building up the fence and then I'm gonna actually extend the fence to this here and put a gate. Oh, what was that? Hey, we got an immigrant. We now have 10 official people in our town. You're going to go there, and then I'm going to put another one on this side. So that little guitar noise was us getting a person to our town. Which is really nice. Ah, uh, boo. Uh, fine, destroy that piece. There we go. So this at least has us a little protected in case someone shows up. In the meantime, we now have 10 people. We have 10 rooms. We're now at official full capacity. Don't have access to glass yet though. So with that in mind, I'm gonna look here real quick to try and remember how to make glass. I think to make glass, yeah, we need we need a smelter. For a smelter, we need iron. For iron, we need to go deeper. We need to dig and find stuff down here. There's a lot of stone. Um, I need, there we go. Some more raw materials. Some raw food, some prepared food, oh that's right, I need to put um, lighting stuff in here as well, I forgot. Everybody gets candlestick. This will light up each and every single person's room. Because once we start putting in the uh, the rest of the building, then we gotta do things like windows and stuff. Actually, I could probably do windows. Hey, we got our first hero. It is. Let's pause here. Terowin Joland, the hero. He's level one. He has high slash damage. But we have our first hero. There he is, right there. He is going to go down there in the basement for us and start causing havoc. And hopefully, kill some baddies. In the meantime, I am going to start up the next batch of building on the outside of our home here. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do one side first. And then I'm going to tell it, hey, remove this piece, remove that piece, remove this piece type thing. I'm just sorry, I'm going to do the whole outer wall. And then I'm going to tell it to remove pieces. And then I'm going to do the next floor. So you see it's kind of getting dark. Because, well... It needs decorations for light, which means I need to put things like this table right there, and this table. Um, right there. Go up one level. Got the doors, and I'm gonna put a light on that table. Once I figure out where I where I put the table. Oh, I can't put, uh, oh. I can't put lights on the wooden tables. Interesting. 
Okay. Um. What if I did something like... You know what? No. There's gonna be lighting in everyone's rooms. We're fine. One of the things I need to do next, <laughs> strangely enough, is uh, get a second floor going as well. Oh, look at that. Green slime down. Oh. Where is the hero, by the way? Wow. Look what he's cleared it already. Coal for us. Is that some spiderite? That's a badger. Our people will automatically go down and collect stuff, which is good. Later on, I'm going to make some storage stuff down here. But yeah, it's some coal. I hope he goes over there to see what's over there. The badger. Um, I put a... F oh, I put farm fence. Whoops. Derp. I almost I almost did it again. And then we put actually I think I can just do that, right? And it just automatically snaps. Or do I have to oh no, I have to do it across oh that's right. So to do it I have to go like this. And it will automatically snap where the door is. Which is weird when you think about it, right? You're basically telling it on the second floor, I want you to block it. But, eh. If I understood the way the game does some things, I'd be a genius. But there we go. Alright, so what we're going to do... Um, I'm gonna actually going to build a second floor above this one to do that I'm actually gonna tell it I want a block there and there then I'm gonna build a block above that and then I'm gonna do stairs down and stairs down with a scaffold I also have to do a complete second story of this so I have to actually fill in this entire story here so that'll probably be in the next episode or two. In the meantime, I want to see more coal. Coal. No, we don't have any. Wow, he is just chewing up people, eh? Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell everyone, hey, mine this. And mine that. I don't want to get too close to this water. If I mine too much close to, too close to this water, it will basically just pour in and drown everybody. We don't want that to happen. Do me a favor. You also get rid of all that too. That way maybe we can see if there's anything over here. Also, hopefully kind of go like that and kind of see this is our floor so our floor is a little bit of coal that seems to be the main thing right now is just coal who is he going after now oh we found iron still want them to go over there 
Oh, he was right there. So what he'll do is basically look everywhere on a, on a level until they basically find everything that they want. And then you, you basically have to dig down to the next level to get them access to stuff. Which is good, but we have access to iron. This is the big thing. This is something we really, really want. I'm hoping that there's a nice big iron vein over here. Far away from the river, right? Yep. This is all dungeon stone versus regular stone. Yeah. Ooh, there may not be actually much here. Ooh, there actually might be a lot here. Ooh. We may have found a very nice iron vein. We did unlock another another area. Oh, he's going after people there. He's doing pretty good. He's actually kicking kicking butt there. Nice. We also unlocked more area for him as well, which is good. Oh, delicious, delicious iron. This should, will give us the ability next to... Oh, there's something right there. Lots of iron for us to get. Hopefully uh, the dude comes over here to... Oh, there's more. Holy smokes. I want you to actually dig a straight line through that. Just want to see if there's any iron in there. Doesn't look like it. Right, I'm also going to now tell the computer and all that stuff. Hey, do me a favor. Um, we're going to do a stockpile. Right here. Of raw material containers. That way we can, you know, as we do our thing we can collect stuff so all right so now what i'm gonna do is continue on here Another block there and a block there actually i'm gonna do another one there another one there then i tell the computer i want a whole layer across there. This will give us the ability to do 10 more rooms. Oh, yeah, the spider is just beating up on people. Or sorry, the, the hero is just beating up on people. We also have to come up with a good spot where we're going to dig down. Normally, I would dig down right here, to be honest with you. knock out all of that and then just turn these into more stairs oh he left because of a lack of food oh no all right so we have to remember that our the hero just left So he's not going to be kicking butt for us anymore. But he also left because of a lack of food.
Yeah, we don't have enough food. Try and catch some raw fish. I know there's a fi I can make a fishing pier. I'm just trying to remember. Something like this. I need to make a bucket, don't I? Wood in a wooden bucket. I'm assuming my raw... No, they're not. a bucket then. That's how I make a bucket. Because <laughs> I'm a genius. Wear pig. Uh, okay, those things are freaky. 
were pigs, um, if, the last time I played the game would always like wipe out your. Basically, it's a pig, like uh, like this bolt here, for example. That's not a pig. Um, like one of these pigs here, like uh, like this one, for example, would turn into a, a were pig. Basically, it's a big pig with huge amounts of muscle, and just come at you like a spider monkey and try to kill you. I need to fix this because a whole bunch of the walls just fell. So first things first, I need to tell it to put walls or these blocks on just the outer, just the outer walls. Just the outer walls, and then I gotta slowly work my way around. So the next one is then you do those, please. I was afraid about this game where it actually has quite the uh, inter like the the way the building system works is actually quite impressive for a game that's you know not the most sophisticated. So we have all this iron we did. Holy, I didn't realize there was so much iron below that too. There's a lot. Mm. This, I mean, it, depending on what's underneath here, like what this level is, we either have a really good iron vein or a dangerous iron vein. I'll have to figure that out. But that will be in the next episode, which should be Monday. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.